So you want to start learning scales on the guitar. Well, I'm going to show you the number one most important scale that you should learn first. It's called the open position scale, and it's the most important scale for three reasons, which we'll get into in a second, but let me first show you what the scale looks like. Reason one why it's so important is because it covers all six strings on your guitar, and it also covers a lot of ground on the first three frets of your guitar, which is where all the open position chords are played. So once you start learning open position chords, it'll be really handy for you to have a physical roadmap of notes that are all in the same place. So let's break down the open position scale string by string, and when we go through each string, I'm going to name out every single one of the notes. Which leads me to reason number two why it's the most important scale. Because in the open position scale, you can start learning how to name the notes on the fretboard in this area where all the open chords are played. So that not only will you have notes that you can play in between the chords, but you'll also know how to name the notes in the chords themselves. So let's break it down. Starting on the low E string, the open E, which is E, right? That's the first note. And then the next note is the first fret of the uh, low E string, which we're going to use our first finger, our index finger to play. Okay, and that's F. Then next we're going to play the third fret on the low E string with our third finger, and that's G. So we have E, F, G. So I'm corresponding a finger to a fret. That's what I want you to do, is uh, when you have your first finger, use the first finger, uh, sorry, the first finger to play the first fret, and then use your third finger to play the third fret, second finger, second fret, you get the idea, right? So we're starting off E, F, G. That's the first, uh, that's the first part of the scale. And then we're going to move on to the open A, which is the next string. And then with our second finger, we're going to play the second fret of the A string, which is a B. And then we're going to play with our third finger, the third fret, which is C. And then next we're going to play the open D. All right. And then our second finger on the second fret, that's an E. And then our third finger on the third fret, that's an F. Then we're going to play open G. And then our second finger is going to play the second fret of G, which is a A note. And then we're going to play open B. And then our first finger is going to go on the first fret of B. And that's a C. And then our third finger is going to go on the third fret of B, which is D. Then we're going to play open high E. Then first fret on the high E string, which is F then third fret, which is G. So all together we have E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So as we were going through the notes in the scale, you may have noticed I was moving in order of the musical alphabet, which if you don't know, the musical alphabet is A, to G, and it repeats. So there were times where I would reach an A in the scale and I would keep going in order and I would go through A through G and then start over. So let me give you an example. So when I started on A, which is the, which is the A string, right? Check it out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then when I started over to continue going on the scale, so it's a, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the open position scale moves in order of the musical alphabet. There's no sharps or flats. It's just all real simple. But it does start on E, right? Because the low, the low E string is an E note. So we start on E, but we're still moving in order of the alphabet, A through G. So we're going E, F, G, then starting over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then starting over again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we're essentially going through the musical alphabet more than twice in this whole scale. So reason number three why this is the most important scale to learn is kind of a sneaky one. So you may not know this right now, but in learning the open position scale, you have automatically learned a bunch of other scales that are all contained within the same notes of the open position scale. All you would have to do is either take chunks of the open position scale or arrange notes in the open position scale a certain way, and you got yourself a whole bunch of other scales automatically, whether you know it or not. 
and I'll demonstrate. I'm going to show you a bunch of these bonus scales that come from knowing the open position scale. One scale contained within the open position scale is the E minor pentatonic scale, and it goes like this. The E minor pentatonic scale is actually one of the most popular scales to learn when you want to start soloing. And you just saw it's right within the open position scale. I just arranged the notes in a certain way, all the exact same notes that I've already played going through the open position scale, but just arranged in a way that made up the E minor pentatonic scale. Here's another scale that's contained in the open position scale, and it's the C major scale. You know, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's in the open position scale. So if we start on the C note, right? Remember we have E, F, G, A, B, C. We start on C, and we pretty much play from C, this C, to that C. So we go. So starting on C, which is third fret of the A string, then we play open D, then second fret, third fret, open G, second fret, open B, and then first fret. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And there's the C major scale contained within the open position scale. All I did was start on this low C and then ended on a high C and then boom, there it was. And what's another scale we can pull out? Hmm, the G mixolydian scale. So the G mixolydian scale, which by the way, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. This is gonna be really helpful for you later on, but just knowing that you can play the entire G mixolydian scale by starting the open position scale on the third fret here on the low E string, which is G, and then playing the entire scale, but just starting on G. So all of these are the exact same notes in the open position scale. We just pretty much skipped the low E here and F. So we just started from G and then walked our way up to the high G right here. So there you go. There's a G mixolydian scale for you. And yet another scale we can pull out is the A minor scale. So that I just started on A, then second fret, third fret, open D, second fret, third fret, open G, second fret. So we started on A, then landed on a higher A. And there's an A minor scale. Now, if any of the names of the bonus scales were confusing to you, don't worry about it. What's important is you now know the open position scale. So you now know the finger pattern that automatically covers a whole bunch of other scales that you're going to discover and use later on. In the description box of this video, you're going to find a link to download the reference material for this lesson. It's going to contain diagrams of the open position scale, as well as all the bonus scales that we learned today. And since you now know the open position scale and can start using it to practice and warm up, I've also included a link to download a free practice session cheat sheet that's going to show you how to get more out of your practice sessions in less time. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.